of Godi State. We are here today in Kogi, in Lokota, to be able to tell you we didn't even come here to buy your food. We came here, we came here to tell you how we want to save Nigeria from collapse. Today in the Kogi State. Today in Kogi State, you cannot travel freely within the state or travel from here to Abuja or to anywhere without fear. So, what we are going to do, number one job is to secure Nigeria. We want to make Nigeria safe. Nigeria. Nigerians today are not living as a family. We want to bring the family back. We want to secure Nigeria. We want to make sure that in Nigeria there is rule of law. You are not harassed. Nobody will harass you. Nobody will do what is wrong to you. If there's anything, you will go by the rule of law. That is what we want to do in Nigeria. We want to make sure that we will remove Nigeria from consumption to production. He told you about minimum wage. We will ensure that minimum wage that is today and those who are old, being old, we will work with the states and local government to clear the standards. <laughs> we will start thinking about how to continue to increase the minimum wage. Because you know today, remember what I said, we will start with production, and as soon as we start with production, we will start thinking how to continue to do what? Increase that minimum wage. Because that minimum wage today can no longer sustain everybody. When we talk about removing Nigeria from consumption to production, Kogi State is a state today that can feed itself. It has vast land in a total of 29.8 thousand square kilometers of land. So it has enough land. Five million people are living in Kogi State. If they live on that vast land, they can cultivate yam. They can cultivate cassava. These are things you can export, cashew. There's so many things they can do. And that is what we want to do. Our people must be able to feed themselves. They must be able, by the time you feed yourself, are you able to sell locally? and process and export, we will start bringing down Nigerian inflation, we will start creating more jobs, we will start putting people out of poverty. The more we put people out of poverty, the more we reduce criminality. We are showing that government to do it. We will not govern from Abuja. We will not govern from Abuja. State. I said to Kogi State Youth, to stakeholders, we are here to pull you out of poverty. This is what we are doing. We will not be doing it from Abuja. Today, you hear so many youth programs in TV. You don't
don't see any of them. We are not going to tell that type of story. We will come to you because we believe in you. We are not fake people. Both of us, both of us have a past. When we say we are going to fight corruption, we are going to fight corruption. We are not stolen government money. Go and check and go and verify.
that uh, we begin to pull you out of poverty into wealth. We then they announce for you leaders that have not been confusing and disuniting you. That day, you will see Nigerians embracing and hugging each other, and peace will reign in Nigeria. That day is coming, that they will announce for you leaders who grew through the ranks, who one day were people like you, and they have not forgotten what they went through. People like Peter Obi, who remember every day and what they sweated, to get what they get, that day they will be sworn in and they will prove to you that they know how to create wealth. They know how to bring prosperity and they know how to make citizens live in peace and tranquility. Keep it in mind, we are going to stop the killing and start the healing. Yeah. We are going, we are going to stop the stealing and start the keeping. Yeah. We will stop the slide and start the climb to peace and prosperity. Walk for that day. Thank you and God bless. Mr. Peter, if he gets into office, we will hold him accountable. 
reasonable. We were holding accountable and tell him that he must give to Nigeria good governance, accountability, and transparency. I see my father over there who is standing. He's standing in the sun. He doesn't mind. He's coming out because he sees hope. There is hope renewed in the country. Our lives no longer matter. We must make our lives matter. We cannot pray our way into good governance. Every day we pray to God to fix Nigeria. The only way we will fix Nigeria is when God takes us to that day when we are going to vote and we go in there and we vote for people with competence, character, and capacity. People that will stand for Nigeria. People that are patriotic to Nigeria. People who care. People who are always around. And one person as the president of the federal